In this video, I'm going to show you how to take your animations to the next level with Kling AI's new features, generating stunning images, keeping character consistency, animating images, and even lip syncing to an audio script. Oh, it feels so good to be surrounded by my cute friends. Yes, you can do all these within Kling AI, so stick around and it's going to be a fun ride. First, head over to the Kling AI website. It'll ask you to create an account. You can do that easily by providing your email and a password. Once you're logged in, you'll land on the main page. Here, you'll see three options. AI images, AI video, and the video editor, which is a coming soon feature. Let's start by exploring the image generation feature. When you click on the image tab, you'll see this interface. In the box, you can type your prompt. You also have the option to upload a reference image to use as a style guide. Over here, you can choose the aspect ratio, and then you can decide how many images you want to create. All right, let me show you how the images are gonna come out. I love the Pixar animation style images that Kling generates. I'm going to try this prompt. Pixar 3D animation style image of a lion, monkey, and an elephant living happily in a jungle. and I got this lovely picture. But when creating an animation story, keeping our characters consistent is super important. While Kling doesn't have a built-in option for character consistency, you can still achieve it with better prompting. Let me show you how. Let's take a look at this prompt. You see that in this prompt, I gave the girl a name and described her appearance, and the resulting image looks great. Now. In all other prompts that I use, I'm keeping her name and appearance the same, but I'm only changing her clothes, actions, and surrounding. As you can see, the girl looks almost the same in both images. Just like that, you can create multiple scenes while keeping the basic description of your main character unchanged. You can also create images in other styles, like cartoon style. Look how cool these images are. Now, let's see how we can animate these images. Head back to the home screen and click on the AI Videos tab, which will bring up this interface. You can either generate a video from a text prompt or turn an existing image into a video. We're going to focus on the image to video option here. Here you can upload the image you want to animate. Below that you can enter a prompt or just leave it blank. Next is the motion brush, which I'll explain later in the video. Next, you have the settings. By adjusting this scale, you can control how closely you want your video to stick to your prompt. I recommend keeping it somewhere in the middle for the best results. Then, you can choose between standard mode and professional mode. Professional mode is only available with a paid plan and uses more credits. Next, you can choose the length of the video. The 10 second option is only available with the paid plan but for animation stories, I usually recommend 5-second videos. Longer ones, like 10 seconds, can sometimes distort videos involving characters. Camera movement is currently not supported. You can also enter a negative prompt here, which tells the AI what you don't want to see in your video, or you can just leave it blank. Now we're all set. Let's hit generate and see what we get. Here is our video. Wow, see how cool it is. Now let's create another animation. This time we'll try to do a dance. Now let's check out the new lip sync feature of Kling AI. First, I'm gonna animate this picture. Notice that I'm using little girl talking as the prompt, and it doesn't matter what she says right now. Now that our video is ready, you'll see a button called match mouth type under the video. I'm clicking that, and then Kling AI will check if the video can be properly lip synced. All right, now it's asking me to upload the audio, which means our video is good to go. Now I'm uploading this audio clip I generated using 11 labs. As you can see, my audio clip is a bit longer than 5 seconds, 
so it's going to automatically crop it to fit the video. Whenever I have time, I always love to sit down and relax with my little kitty. As you can see, it did a great job. But there are a few things to keep in mind when using the lip sync feature. First, there should be a clear main character in the video, otherwise Kling might get confused about who's supposed to be speaking. Secondly, it doesn't work well with animal images. It's really best for human characters. All right. Now let's explore the new motion brush feature. I'm going to animate this image using the motion brush option. This brings you to a window like this. On the right, you'll see different areas to choose from. I'm selecting area one and painting over the part of the image I want to move. I'm starting with this fish. Next, I select area two and paint over the girl. If you enable the auto segmentation option, it will automatically select the entire area when you click on it. I'll do the same for the other two fish, assigning them to different areas. Now, I'm selecting the track for each area and drawing the direction I want each element in the image to move, like this. Once all the motion areas and directions are marked, we can confirm and generate the video. All right, the video is ready. As you can see, every object is moving towards the directions I marked. However, motion brush isn't always the best option, but it's useful when you need to move things precisely in a specific direction. Lastly, can you use Kling for free? Yes, you get 66 free credits daily, but it can take a super long time to generate videos. Sometimes it took me more than a day to create a single video. If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe for more future content like this.